G'day everyone, it's Jake here. Today I'm going to be showing you counter point of sale system, which is a cleared point of sale system. That's just the log on screen at mycounter.com. And this is the dashboard, gives you the little things there. What we're going to do is show you how to add a product. So you just go to products in this menu. Actually, I'll take you to categories first. So the categories are what the products live in. So you can just add a category by typing it in here. I type category here, add category. But I don't really need that, so I'm going to delete it. Just like that. And that's how easy it is. Just click and go. And then products. Oh, whoops. Products there. So in here, to add a product, just click add a product. Type in what the product is. We're going to go milkshake and a chocolate one. And um, put in what category it is in the next little bit, which is add category. And then you just put in the price, which is next to the actual category there. So you just add your price in here and pick your stock, um, your tax type, which I'm adding it as GST. And FRE is just free, like no tax. So then once you've added your um, item, you can just edit it if you want to by putting the little gear icon there. And it's got heaps of options in here. You can give it a product number, a barcode, so then you can use a barcode scanner to go into it. Sell price, buy price if you're using stock management, change the categories and also what places you're about allowed to sell it in. If you want to do inventory, you can do inventory in it. But yeah, so that's pretty much all that stuff with the product. So now what I'm going to show you is I'm going to actually take you to the point of sale, like the actual POS screen. So now it just downloads all your stuff, all your product information just straight down from the cloud into your little point of sale thing. So now you can just pick your user. I've set up users somewhere else. And I've also set up here for um, time and attendance. So I've got to start my shift. So as you see, I hit start shift and log in. But that can be disabled or enabled if you want to. So now I'm going to show you, like, see there, you can put um, pictures in for your items too. But now I'm going to show you how to put through a sale. So you just click on both of them. Gives you the price down there. And then fast cash means they've given you the exact money. So you can just hit fast cash and that's done. Or you can add them in and then hit check out. And if you had other options besides cash like credit card or check, you can put that in. And then you do that and it tells you the change. Which is pretty simple easily. And this is all works on a touch screen as well. I'm just not using a touch screen at the minute. So now I'm going to put an order on hold. So you just put in the stock, hit that hold button. You can add a note to it if you want to. So I'm just saying holding order. And then to retrieve the order, you click there and you just click on the order that's sitting there. And as you see, my stuff's come out there, so I'm just going to put it through as a fast cash. And from here, you can print a receipt if you have a receipt printer there, which I don't, as you see. But that's how you print a receipt. And you can also pop the cash drawer at any time by just pressing, pressing that little thing and hitting cash drawer, and that'll pop your cash drawer. So now, what I'm going to show you is how to actually do your end of day takings. So if you hit takings, You'll see it downloads the other finalised things there. So if I just hit finalised takings, I just need to put in the amount of cash that's in my till. So I'm going to say there's 200 in there. And then hit finalised takings. So obviously you'd need to count your cash first, but that's that. Then this will come through as finalised. See today at 5 there, 15, yep. Finalised and that's restarted there. So then at the start of the day, you can add in your float by just going money in and out and putting in the amount of money that's in the till at the start of the day. You can add a note to it if you want. I'm just going to call it float. Save money in. And that's that. So now what I'm going to show you is a couple of the re reporting features that are in built into this. And you can export all the reports into a CSV format, which you can just open in Excel, which I'll also show you. So that's, we'll just have a look at the sales summary. So it gives you a nice little graph and down below is the little report thing. So, so you can see how much it's sold and what days are better and what days aren't. You can change this, so like past seven days, isolate just one register, change it to different sites. If you have multiple sites and put specific hours, if you hit that, it'll just download the CSV report. And as you can see, I can just open this straight up into Excel 
and it gives you an easy report which you can copy and paste into another Excel document or just do whatever you need to do with it. You could send it to your accountant. So I'm also going to show you here the reconciliation. So that tells you how much money you should have and how much money it's out by. And you can have a look at that if you want to. This, my money's right out because I haven't been putting in a float and just been playing around with it. But here you can see the hourly sales. So as you can see today, I've only put in a couple of sales. So, and it's all at the same time. But you can also change it to the different dates, the averages, and all of that sort of stuff, which is pretty cool. You can filter it out. And as you can see, you're filtered week by week. So you can see the different amounts there in a graph and if there was other ones on other days it would be popping up as well. And you can also go sales by. Now this is a really cool feature because you can isolate it by product, by person or by category. So as you can see I can go user and just select one of my employees or select all of my employees I mean and it tells you who's done all that which could be quite good if you're paying them a commission on sales. So as you see you can also go category and it'll tell you which categories are the most popular. So you might think, oh, I wonder how much I've sold in the burgers category and have a look, or whatever your categories are. Now, another feature I really like about this is that it can integrate directly into some accounting packages. I'm going to show you counter, I mean zero, how it integrates into zero. So I've already set this up, but as you see, there's my different finalised takings. And you can just hit that button to export. And that'll export it directly into the accounting package. So there's no having to manually enter anything and it'll just show up in when you log into your accounting package. So as you say, I'll just export of both of these. Can take a little bit to export, but nowhere near as long as adding everything up and doing all of that sort of stuff, manually typing everything in. So here I'm just going to go to zero, which I've also set up a test account on here to test it out. And I'm just going to log into my test account. Now it also has integration into Myob online and other ones are getting developed all the time. So as time goes, it's more than likely Xero um, Counter is going to be able to integrate into other things. So here you just go into little invoices and it'll tell me the dates and that and you just look and see the amount going in, the amount going out and hit approve. And that's as simple as that and if that's not right you can cancel it or you can print it out and take it back to your staff and say what's going on here. So you just hit approve and that's approved. Now another thing some people ask is how do you actually pay for it? So you can just set up your payment method in here which is a credit card and it'll just automatically bill you at the time of the subscription period. So as you see at the moment, my monthly subscription costs zero, but when you're using it in production, it will cost you money and you build per register. But you just add in your credit card details, hit save, and that's it. 